I'm Tia Borden with Mining IR. Beside me is Christopher Brown of Helios X Lithium, CEO. Thank you so much for joining me bright and early this morning, my first interview of the day. Are you enjoying um, the conference so far? This is day two. Yeah, well, thank you for having me. It's been a fantastic conference, meeting different peers, meeting the competition, so to speak, it, it, great meetings with investors. It's really been a worthwhile conference. What are you hoping to gain from being here? Uh, just better exposure for the company. Uh, we're looking for people to understand what we're focused on with the lithium. We're a unique company. We're very technical oriented. And we want to demonstrate how we can bring technical expertise to the lithium space to better unlock resource opportunities. Can you give us a little bit of a background on the company? So Helios is exposed in three different jurisdictions across the world. Uh, we think that diversity helps with our investment base, but also exposure to different geopolitical opportunities. So for example, we're in Argentina with a relatively large resource base with proven opportunities with lithium. Uh, we have exposure in Nevada with two plays there that are really interesting that we're going to move forward with in 2023. And in Canada, we have an amazingly large new exploration concept that we want to unlock in the next coming years. Very exciting. Now, tell me why Helios X um, de-risks your assets. Well, the way we de-risk it is by drilling. Uh, none of our lithium plays are, are fundamentally like hard rock plays where you have to pull away the overburden to get to the juicy lithium below. We actually drill wells into a lithium reservoir that has, essentially has the lithium suspended in salt water. So it's a little bit of a different concept. It's more oriented towards oil and gas than it is traditional mining techniques. So we drill wells, we have to drill them deep, and we are just seeking out ways to delineate those prospects to better define it to move towards commerciality. And this is a new concept. It is a brand new concept. Uh, we are one of very few companies pursuing this type of lithium resource. And so we're very excited not only to do the discoveries and delineation, but move it forward to commercialization. And can you tell me about some of the success, success that you've already had with with this um, way of doing it? Well, we are a relatively new company. We we're only listed this January 2022. Uh, so we're just in the delineation phase, uh, essentially understanding the distribution of the resource potential. Like understanding the size of the prize is important for investors, it's important for us. Yes. And so we're just looking for ways to do that this year and then move forward to hopefully drilling in the future. Now, are you looking to commercialize or diversify your assets? Well, it could be a mix. Uh, so the diversification would be a concept of farm outs, you know, inviting partners to the table. I'm always willing to play with uh, other people in the sandbox, so to speak, if they're willing to invest in the opportunity. Uh, otherwise, we do want to look towards moving it towards commerciality ourselves. Uh, we have very good experience at doing that on the oil and gas side, and we think we can bring that to the industry and hopefully move these forward to productive commercial opportunities. And what are some of the catalysts that investors should be aware of? Well, we're in the fundraising mode right now, as a junior company always is. Uh, but we're hoping to drill at least uh, two wells in Argentina in 2023, two wells in Nevada in 2023. And then we're actually looking at seeing if we could drill one well in Alberta, but incorporate what's called direct lithium extraction technologies to maybe do immediate lithium extraction in, in, right away in the Alberta basin. So it's pretty exciting. You're going to be busy in 2023. It's going to be busier. <laughs> Chris, before I let you go, is there anything else that you'd like to share with our audience? Well, I think it's just like to essentially talk about the critical mineral space. Lithium has been recently defined by Canada and the US as a critical mineral, and I think that is the right direction that we should be going. Prioritizing this uh, is going to be important alongside cobalt and other key components that make up your battery. Uh, in 2023, uh, the Chinese are still going to be active acquiring more assets, and it's very much a direct competition with them. And if we want to be able to secure our own resources, we have to start investing domestically to make sure that we have that for the future and our next generation as well. Wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Thank you for having me.